The incident on South Linwood was indeed heartbreaking. What can be done to keep rats out of your home? Eyewitness News Ben Walls talks with an expert about keeping rodents and pests away. Charles McMahon, who owns McMahon Exterminating near Theater Drive and Morgan Avenue in Evansville, has told Eyewitness News some rules of thumb for keeping rodents away from inside of structures. There's a number of ways that they can get into the house. So uh, first investigation of the house is, is really important to determine how they're getting in. McMahon and the businesses on staff entomologist Brian Rain says exclusion work is needed in a house to prevent what mice want food, water, and shelter. McMahon tells Eyewitness News to keep garbage away from the home's foundation and the structure itself, keep a lawn mowed and trimmed, and to keep a garbage bin from overflowing to help rodents from entering homes. So we, we often see them in the attic. Um, you know, if a person has an attached garage, uh, uh, we'll see them there. You know, the garage door's up for a period of time during the course of the day. Uh, rodents run into the garage. Mice can fit into quarter-inch size cracks in a home's foundation, while rats can fit into half-inch size cracks. Entomologist Brian Rain says mice can find their way into attics and through solvents and downspouts to access a home. McMahon says filling a crack with steel wool or store-bought mortar mix could be enough to keep rodents from entering a home. In Evansville, Ben Walls, Eyewitness News.